We've seen Make in India touch everything from cars to smartphones. But here's the billion dollar question aviation enthusiasts have been asking. Can India ever build its own commercial passenger aircraft, one that can compete with Boeing and Airbus? At first it sounds like a natural next step. We have engineers, we have demand, and we even make aircraft components. But here's the twist. When you scratch beneath the surface, the challenges are deeper, bigger, and some of them are very uncomfortable. Stick around till the end because what you're about to hear will probably change how you think about made in India aviation. Let's set the stage. India absolutely has aerospace talent. We've designed and produced airplanes but only in small specialized categories. Think of Saras, a light utility aircraft or Hansa, a small trainer plane. These are impressive engineering feats but they are not commercial passenger jets. In defense aviation, India has built the HAL Tejas, a light combat aircraft meant to replace aging fighters. But even there, the journey has been long and imperfect. And recent events have sparked intense debate about whether India is truly ready to manufacture high-performance aircraft at scale. But why India can't build its own commercial aircraft yet? Let's get into the heart of the matter why India hasn't yet built a jetliner of its own kind despite decades of growth and enormous demand for air travel. Aerospace manufacturing is insanely complex. To make a commercial jet, you need over a million individual parts. Everything from landing gear hydraulics to avionic computers and life support systems. Each part must meet global safety and reliability standards. Companies like Airbus and Boeing didn't arrive there overnight. It took decades, billions of dollars in R&D and global supply chains built layer by layer. India has strong engineering talent but we don't yet have the end-to-end -end ecosystem that supports big jet production. We build components very well and even export some but putting them together into a reliable globally certified flight-ready aircraft is a different game entirely. Engines, the heart India can't build yet. One of the thorniest challenges isn't the wings or avionics, it's the jet engine. Jet engines are among the most complex machines ever built, requiring advanced metallurgy, precision machining and decades of real-world testing. India still doesn't produce high-thrust jet engines for large aircraft independently, a capability that countries like the US, France and even China invested in long ago. That's a big deal because without indigenous engines, aircraft rely on foreign suppliers. That's not just expensive, it creates strategic dependency and it slows down certification and production timelines. Institutional inertia and manufacturing bottlenecks. Look at the Tejas fighter jet story for a moment. India's indigenous LCA program took four decades to reach operational status. That's not just because the technology was tough, it was also because of bureaucratic inertia, fragmented responsibilities and slow decision cycles within HAL and DRDO. Even today, Tejas production rates are limited and delays happen not because of lack of will but because the ecosystem, from part suppliers to final assembly lines, isn't mature enough to scale quickly. The Tejas crash is a reminder of the challenges. In November 2025, a Tejas MK1, India's home-built fighter, crashed during a flying demonstration at the Dubai Air Show and the pilot tragically lost his life. That incident sparked intense debate about India's aerospace capability. Was it just an accident or did it expose deeper issues in manufacturing, testing and quality assurance? The truth is such incidents, especially involving indigenous high-performance aircraft, shake confidence not just domestically but also internationally. If a jet designed and built in India can't demonstrate consistent safety and reliability at a global air show, it raises hard questions about whether India could ever compete in the much tougher commercial aircraft market. Certification and safety standards are hurdles too. Even if India builds an entire aircraft from design, engine, wings to everything, the industry still has to certify it. Certification means proving to aviation authorities like the DGCA or the FAA that the aircraft is safe for millions of passengers on every flight. Certification involves years of testing, documentation, field trials and regulatory approvals. That's another frontier where experience matters and experience comes from decades of doing this repeatedly. Finance and the billion dollar investment gap. Building an aircraft is not just engineering, it's one of the most cash-intensive endeavors on Earth. R&D, testing, tooling, quality systems, global supply chain management, 
All of this costs billions with no guarantee of profit for years. Airbus and Boeing spent generations building their expertise and market presence. India's private sector, though growing, still hasn't embraced this level of long-term capital-heavy risk in aircraft production. Lack of a deep ecosystem We have aerospace engineers, but India still imports critical raw materials and advanced composites needed for aircraft structures. More importantly, our maintenance, repair and overhaul ecosystem, another backbone of global aircraft operations, still depends on foreign parts and certifications. This fragmented ecosystem means that moving from building components to building whole aircrafts remains an unfinished journey. So let's be honest, can India build a passenger aircraft? Technically, the talent and ambition are there. Economically and industrially, not yet. Until India masters complex propulsion systems, establishes a fully integrated aerospace ecosystem and learns how to certify, manufacture and scale large commercial aircraft reliably, we will remain import dependent. That means buying from Airbus and Boeing will continue even as China pushes its Comac jets into the global market. But there's an exciting part. This isn't the end of the story. Every big leap begins with facing uncomfortable truths. India can get there. But it will take bold policy changes, massive investment and genuine public-private collaboration far beyond what we've seen so far. So here's the question for you. If India ever built its own passenger aircraft, would you trust it to fly you across the world? Comment yes if you would or not yet ready if you think we still have a long way to go. And hit subscribe because next up we'll be taking a closer look at what 2026 might have in store for Indian aviation. See you in the next one.